everybody, welcome back to Let's Go Geo. So today you might notice where we are. We are in sunny, hot Arizona. You see those cactus all around. And I'm walking through this wash. And if you look over there at the, the wall there of that sediment, that's what we're gonna head over and check out. If you walk in a wash in Arizona, in this case, yeah, you know, southernish Arizona, uh, you're bound to come across a feature like this. This um, you can see all this these cobbles washed here. Um, in the distance, you can see those taller mountains, and those taller mountains are going to usually consist of a lot of volcanics. In this case, um, maybe some granites that you'll come across. Uh, this is the type of region where we find a lot of copper deposits, copper mining. Uh, but in this particular case, in this wash. You have this really cool two-toned look here. And what we're looking at here underneath those saguaro cacti is the pretty, the, the youngest stuff that you'll find in this area. So this stuff is pretty young. And when I say young, we're talking, depending on where you're at, thousands to maybe millions of years that you'll get into on the deeper stuff here. And you might be thinking, that seems pretty old, but geologically speaking, that stuff is pretty young when we're talking about 4.6 billion years of history. Maybe uh, remind yourself the difference between 1 million and 1 billion with that. This stuff's pretty young. But what we're talking is like Pleistocene, Holocene age stuff. And um, if you, I did a video not too long ago on Arizona geology. So if you're interested, and just kind of orienting yourself to the geology um, that you will find, especially in southernish Arizona, then check that video out. Um, it's 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 detailed, but still kind of a quick overview. So if you're into the geology or want to understand the landforms around you in Arizona, and especially in southern Arizona, uh, or you want to get into rock hounding, it's a really good way to orient yourself. So check it out. I went through. The oldest stuff you'll find to this youngest stuff. Now, when I did the younger stuff, I just kind of uh, glossed over it um, and just, I, I forget specifically what I said, but probably just kind of alluvium. Um, and this is what I was talking about there. So yeah, like I said, the Pleistocene Holocene is primarily what you'll find here. This is a pretty deep wash as I get down, I walk up here to the wall and you can see we're way down in there. So I gotta go way up there to the surface. Um, it's pretty cool also to check this out and see the different layering. This is a lot of unconsolidated stuff here, right? So thinking about what that means, let's just check this out. Let's check out this wall so I can pick that wall apart. So it is that's why i said unconsolidated right and even this stuff it's it's loose so i'm a loose collection of stuff i gotta not grab like scorpions or anything but yeah that's all loose stuff there so it's unconsolidated and you can see it's always really cool if you like plants and um you can see the root systems in the cuts here so it's really cool to see how deep those roots actually go. This is a great way to see a cross section of root systems and conceptualize how, how deep these root systems and what holds up these plants, especially in a desert region like this. They have to go way down to search for water. Um, that is a Palo Verde right there, but there are, even if we get to the edge, eventually we can find saguaro cacti root systems, which are actually quite cool. If you haven't seen them, they have, they even have bark on them, right? So if you're not familiar with those cacti, I find it pretty cool. They have, they, the, the big, that's the big boys. They actually have bark at the base, like a tree and the root systems come down and have bark. Um, but yeah, so, so what we have is kind of a two-tone here of the finer stuff in this um, erosional area here. You can see the finer stuff and then you see those cobbles uh, on the that would be the younger stuff there on the closer to the surface and then if we got close to the surface you'd see a thin layer there 
And that's about what you have for anything you might think of as the actual soil, the top layer of soil there. Uh, that's what you have here. So again, yeah, if you're from somewhere like the Midwest, you might be thinking of soil a little differently, but uh, this, is, this is what we have in a region like this. And that thin layer at the top, um, I did a video on that and you can't really see it here, but we'd have this thin coating of um, broken down sediment, but on top you'd have, you, in the desert you see kind of a black layer and that's a bio crust. And if it's, if it's not too disturbed, you'll have a bio crust and it's, what it is is a bunch of lichens and um, maybe some mosses and stuff like that. And they actually kind of harden it and help hold the loose soil together so it doesn't go airborne and you, you lose all that fine soil. Um, but yeah, if you haven't seen that, check that out. Biocrust is really fascinating. Um, definitely something to know about. There's even a, there's even an illness. There's a fungal spore that lives in that stuff um, that if it's disturbed, it, it can get airborne and it actually gets in the lungs of humans and animals and it can cause some significant uh, respiratory problems. It's called valley fever. But, <laughs> but other than that, the biocrust is a really important part of, like I said, keeping that soil of a healthy desert soil scape so that's pretty much what we're looking at here like I said young stuff uh, and then I guess if we were up there eventually we might also run into some uh, pollution and if we find that we might even get into the layer a little bit some human pollution and we might refer to that you might have heard of the Anthropocene that's the human layer. And at the surface, when we find this, you can go all around the world and you can find remnants of human stuff, which as much as we love our stuff, it's pretty much a lot of this is pollution now. So that lies in the top layers. And that's a layer that we refer to as the Anthropocene. That's the latest time frame in geologic history. And it's pretty much accepted at this point as Almost, it's pretty much a geologic unit. Um, yeah, so there you go. There, you, There's a little look at the youngest stuff. Cenozoic, Pleistocene, Holocene stuff. If you walk through a wash, look for it. You'll have an unconsolidated wall of material. Some fine to, to uh, coarser grained material there underneath the desert vegetation. And that's your little geology tour today. I'll see you guys next time here at Let's Go Geo.